Guess how much I love you. Guess how much I love you. I'm not just telling you, the audience, that I love you and my son that I love him. I'm actually naming the title of this book, Guess How Much I Love You, by Sam McBratney. This kid's book does a great job of something called repetition for emphasis. And Bo likes it too. What this means, and lots of kids do this, is that they'll say the exact same words multiple times. And the idea is that each time you say those words, you emphasize certain words differently. So you're creating a mantra that goes through the entire book. And if you begin to look for this, you'll see it everywhere. So as the example in this book goes, you have little nut brown hair saying, I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. And then little nut brown hair's dad says, I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. They say the exact same sentence. But the idea is that you, when you say it a second time, you emphasize things differently. So that's repetition for emphasis. You say the same things over and over and over again. Now, okay, great, kids books. What the heck does this have to do with professional adult communication? You will also see this in oratory, by the way. I want you to think about the famous Martin Luther King Jr. speech, I Have a Dream. In that speech, King, Dr. King, emphasizes over and over that same phrase, I have a dream, I have a dream, I have a dream. If you look at the play Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, there's a famous speech that Mark Anthony gives eulogizing Caesar, and he uses this repeating mantra of, but Brutus is an honorable man, and he says it over and over again. And at the beginning of the speech, he says it in a very dignified, authoritative way, or at least actors who interpret this speech often say it that way. And then oftentimes by the end of it, they might say it dripping with sarcasm. So the first one might sound like, but Brutus is an honorable man. And by the end of the speech, they're saying things like, but Brutus is an honorable man. Like so. Now I'm painting that picture a little bit far in the two extremes that I just did. But that again is repetition for emphasis. By the way, if you want to watch either two of those things I just cited, you can click on the links both for the Martin Luther King speech, the famous one we all know, or also a bit of that speech from Julius Caesar. And by the way, we'll reference the Marlon Brando version. It's a film version and you know, Brando's a decent actor. So enjoy those if you want to. You might be asking, what does guess how much I love you have to do with professional communication situations? Repetition for emphasis, just like the Martin Luther King speech, just like Julius Caesar and the Mark Anthony speech. Repetition for emphasis allows you to repeat a theme throughout a bit of communication and make that thing really sink in on an audience and become very, very memorable. That theme might be, we have to become more agile. Maybe you say that throughout an entire presentation or a meeting. So each time you say that, it gains importance and becomes more and more thematic and more and more memorable for people. 